my good buddy Adam. My new friend we met online. Card lover extraordinaire sent me a gift. Oh, so cool of him. I wasn't expecting it. But you rock, man. Let's open and see what we got. Hey, cats and kittens. It's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman's Supper Club. 1968 Hot Wheels. I'm excited. How about you? Oh! It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Whoa, look at this. This box came to work. Oh, UPS delivery? Kind of big box. There's a little rattle in it, but not much. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's see what we got in this one. Kids, don't play with knives. Always get help from your parents to cut tape and stuff. Oh, let's open this up. Oh, packing peanuts. Packing peanuts. Oh. Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm dying! Look at this thing! Oh, this is crazy! Adam, this is amazing! Do you guys see what this is? It's Johnny Lightning! Wacky Winners! 10 of Tom Daniels Most Famous Model Kit Designs! Oh, 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 if you were here, you would be getting the biggest bear hug of your life! Oh, look at this box, it made it beautifully! Oh my gosh, Adam, I'm crying, I'm so happy. Look at this, everyone. Oh, this one I gotta open, I gotta see. Did you see all these? Look, it's a dragon wagon, Batman, tarantula, troublemaker, one of my favorite model kits. Tijuana Taxi! Oh, the garbage truck! Bad medicine! The beer wagon! Oh, bad news! And... The cherry bomb! Oh! This is the coolest! Let's see what's on the back! Authentic die-cast replicas of some of the craziest show rides ever! Oh, Tom Daniel, if you go to his site, he's got literally 80 plus cars he's designed, some you never even thought of! Go check him out, he's got pictures of everything! Welcome to the wild and wacky world of Tom Daniel! We love Tom Daniel! One of the world's most famous designers of plastic model kits. Tom began designing most kits back in the groovy 1960s. He is still at it today. He is, because I've talked to him. He is awesome. And has designed over 75 kits. It's 80 now. Plain Manis is now introducing Johnny Lightning Wacky Winner Super Detail 164 Scale Diecast Replicas. These are 10 of Tom's most famous and creative car designs. In fact, they may be the most awesome show rides any dude ever dreamed up. So start your collection today and display them somewhere and make sure you buy an extra set to play with too. Cause these cars are super fast and they work on standard size track. 
Johnny Lightnings, the collector's choice. And look, we've got a standard size track right here amongst all our peanuts. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, look at this. Here's all the cars again. Now, one of his most famous designs is Rommel's Ride, and, and that can't always be displayed because a little disrespectful for some people. But that's another one. Oh, Playing Mantis Collector's Edition. Oh, look, they had Flash News. If you like quality diecast replicas, join the club! Oh, Play Mantis is very cool. Look at this. Conforms to safety. 1996! Ah, oh, this is 20 years old! Oh, it is amazing! Oh, look at this little piece of tape. <laughs> little piece of tape says... Oh, what is this size got? Little piece of tape broken. Yes, someone has hopefully carefully opened this thing. Let's see this. Oh, oh, oh. Packaging is always very interesting to get in and out. But if you do it carefully, oh, oh, oh. Save your boxes, kids, cause this is history cool. Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm just gonna lean that back up there in the back. Oh, look at this, they're all on bubble wrap. Oh, I gotta open it, it's killing me. They're right here. Look at all these, the dragon wagon, bad medicine. Oh, can we do it gently and carefully? Look at this. Oh, it looks like a little something on there. A little discoloration on there. Maybe you can pick it up on the camera, maybe not. But either way, these cars are getting opened right now. Do you see that? We're cutting into this one because guess what? It's Tom Daniels and Johnny Lightning coming together. How cool is that? Oh, this is the way to be. We're expecting a huge monster snowstorm today. They say it's the Snowmageddon. Oh, look at this. Oh, they're all wired in carefully. This might take a little bit to unwind all those. Oh, look at this. Oh, let's see. Oh, there's two that is nice shiny packaging. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so Neat. Oh, I'm gonna have to go borrow some model kits so I can show you these. Maybe I'll take a break in this video and see if I can find some and dig some up. Look at that Tijuana taxi. Oh, oh, oh. And here is the collector card. Oh, sometimes the, the graphics are the coolest, especially when Tom Daniels is rendering it. Holy smokes! I'm gonna be right back. Let's see what we can find! Oh! Oh! oh. This totally blew me away! Ah! Oh. Unbelievable! I pulled some things out, some gifts, some kits. Oh, to go along with all these. So exciting! The only one I did not have was the bad medicine, bad news box. I've got the bad actor and the street fighter. 
Oh, look at that glare on there. Oh, but there's Street Fighters in there. Oh, 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 oh. Tom Daniels stuff is crazy cool. So, like I said, these things are put together with twist ties. They're simple, like every little toy set you ever get. But man, these are around the axles, so you want to be extra careful that you do not whack and jack the axles right off the bat, especially with a Tom Daniel kit. So you're going to be just twisting these off carefully. Take your Tom kiddo kiddo. Oh, and twisty blisty this thing. <laughs> oh, this is going to take a long time to get these babies off. But you know what? It's well worth it when you get a cool set like this. I will be back in a little bit. I will take these things out. And it might be two hours. I don't know how they twist these up. I'm looking at it and it's like twisting back and forth and then back and forth on itself again. Oh, there we go. Look at this troublemaker. Oh, I banged the camera. Oh, look at me, I'm so... Lost it, it's so cool, I can't even think straight or act straight. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> How do you get these off? Any <laughs> tricks or clues without bending the wheels to all get out? Now this one lifts up, so we'll have a little advantage of getting these up over those axles. See that? Just gotta carry them over easy and carefully. But the front ones, oh my, my, oh my, I want some bunker pie. So you need to get your tools out and maybe straighten those out a little bit, or your fingers, straighten them out a little bit, and carefully bend them up over those wheels through the wheel wells. But again, take your time so you're not jack a whack a lack in these nice brand new wheels and tires and axles oh look at this troublemaker it is so cool oh we got it clear here's the stand to hold up the back end oh so radical man <laughs> oh so we got the troublemaker we got the Tijuana taxi out. Now, look at the chickens in top. Is that funny or what? The details on the Tom Daniel kit and toy car are just amazing. Now this, who recognizes that? That fell out of the dragon wagon. So, just a little spot of glue and that'll be good <laughs> got bumbly fingers and then look at this garbage truck <laughs> oh now remember this had figures in the back in the model kit oh the one I got was a gift oh and it was did not have the figures the story goes that uh, the figures were given to a figure painter in the city of Chicago. Oh, and it was 15 years ago. Never got them back. Oh, I'm gonna have to call that guy and see if I can locate those figures. See if the guy is still around, the figure painter. Even if they're not painted, just get them back. So the, the kid is complete. Right? Uh, who built these Tom Daniel model kits as a kid? <laughs> oh, if you were a little bit older, then they re-released some of them too. 
Oh, and it was cool. Now, I do not have this tarantula built, but I do have the mini one, the little snap tight kit. Which these, the snap tights of these are really hard to find. I've been told, and I was just lucky. God bless me one day as I was walking along at a flea market and I saw one. And the price was right. And here it is. Look at this little kit. It's a little snap tight. Pretty simple. Very cartoon like. But man. <laughs> Ah, if you love wild show rods, you love this one. It's got a spider base to go along with the theme and everything. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Adam, I can't thank you enough. This is the coolest thing ever. Oh, look at that bad man. Oh, I'd say everyone go visit TomDaniel.com and Tell him, hey, and Johnny Roman sent you from Berwyn, Chicago. Oh, yeah. He's got prints, limited edition prints that he'll sign for you. Oh, I'm telling you, this guy is a history maker. He's the one that got all of us to love cars. And look, now got some Johnny Lightnings. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, just think the people putting these together, they didn't give a hoot nanny about how cool these are because they're working. Oh, look at this. The bad man. I do not have this one built up, but let me tell you, I've got the kit right there. Oh, oh, oh. The most famous one of Tom Daniels' cars all together is the Red Baron, which came out early, early in the day. Look at that bad man. And I think Hot Wheels got the gig on that one, not Johnny Lightning. Oh. But we've got one somewhere. We're going to have to pull that out. Now, I know that Tom Daniel released through Hot Wheels 143rd scale cars a while ago and man they had almost everyone I do not believe they released a Ramos rod and maybe a school bus if I remember correctly but oh, if you had a chance to get those 143rd scale I got some of them not always in the right color but hey beggars can't be choosers when you find them you know Oh, look at these axles and stuff. So fragile. <laughs> look at the dragon in there. Remember that as a kid? Oh, uh -uh. this was the coolest one. Now, I know when they re-released this one, it was called the Circus Wagon because Dragon Wagon was copyrighted name or something. And on the model kit, come on, focus, baby. Oh, 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 come on. Remember what the hood ornament was? It was a monkey. <laughs> now this piece, Mr. Fumbly Fingers, this goes right in here. And this thing is 20 years old. So maybe the glue just came out. Look at that windshield, big monocle, Colonel Plank. Monocle on that thing. Oh, and the dragon's tail. This, this is a, such a cool model kit. Even cooler as a Johnny Lightning. Oh, man. Now, the cherry bomb. Oh, oh look at that thing. Let's get into this one. Now the Cherry Bomb, as we all know, had a killer chopper motorcycle on the back and the gas tank was a big cherry. How cool is that? 
and building it as a kid if you took your time though those wheels on a motorcycle would spin around and around and around oh man that motorcycle there is something about a chopper <laughs> oh if you're back from the day and a show ride guy you love choppers yes you did you're blowing me away with these. I can't wait to get these on the track. They said they're good for the track. Oh, look at this. That's a, that's a canopy open up. No, nope, that's sedentary. And the model, it opens and it is cool with a really contemporary type of um, cockpit in it. Very space age and cool. Just do it the right way. Don't mess it up. Look how cool that is. Oh, that is amazing. And here is the model right there with the motorcycle. Oh, and that banana trailer that was so cool. Oh. Bad news. <laughs> These wires, once you get a little hang of it, they go come off pretty quick. But again, take your time getting these off. Some have two and some have one. This one has just one going across both axles. Oh, again, just be careful the way you wind it around. You don't want to be busting up everything. Take your time and look at it. See which way it, it rolls and pull it right off. You'll be happy, happy, happy. Oh, <laughs> oh it even has the two little antennas. See those two little antennas? Oh, those are Frenched in. Oh. Bill Hines was the master French lead layer for the custom cars, for the custom Kemp people, man. He just passed away. What a legend. What a legend the cars that guy worked on and built. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh, look at this. I'm telling you, some of these old time car guys, Dave Stucky we lost this past year, Eldon Titus, oh, some of the great, but we still got some really killer custom show rod people, Gene Winfield is still there, he's got a great museum, if you can go see it in Kansas, I've never been there personally, but I did get the opportunity to meet him and see some of his cars. Oh, at a car show. Man, it was cool, let me tell you. You see these guys chopping a car at a car show? All the, all these just legendary guys. Look at this beer wagon. Oh, oh I got one of these built with, oh, now this one got slightly different to hold those beer kegs in. Remember the model? They they fell loose all around. Look at this. Bad medicine. One of my favorites. Probably because it had a skeleton. Back in the day, everything had a skeleton. Kids thought that was cool. Skeletons. Oh, look at this. We are going to be racing and racing these. I got these little twist ties flying all over the place. But let me tell you, that doesn't bother me in the least. Oh, see that? You find out how they bend them around. Take your time, kiddos. Be patient. And they come off nicely without be yanking the tires off. <laughs> you imagine getting a set like this from a friend and yanking a tire off? 
Oh, how sad would you be? Just gotta be careful. Go slow, take your time. It will be worth every second. Here's the skeleton in there. See it? Oh, I'm getting a lot of white out today. There he is. Johnny Lightning. Look at this out of the package. Come on. Come on. Bad medicine. 1996, China. They don't even have... They just have Johnny Lightning on there. They don't have Playing Mantis. Oh, remember this in the back? Is it me or is this not focusing today? Oh, oh I'm such a great day. Camera's going on. I've been working a lot. Oh, the bad news. Just so amazing. Look at the details on that grill. Bad news. Nineteen ninety six Plain Mantis China Johnny Lightning Oh it's on there their names on there what am I goofy goober I'm trying to keep that seat in place Oh this one is painted over <laughs> look at that it's there it's bumpy <laughs> you got a big dragon wagon you see it oh, come on focus It? Dragon Wagon 1996 playing Mantis Johnny Lightning <laughs> oh, This is it's amazing Oh what do you say Let's race these babies We can look at kids later Oh What do you say I'm excited Let's go racing So here's the cherry bomb. Oh, look how cool that is. Now this glass, I can get it right, opens up. And you can see in the inside the cockpit. Oh, but this one wasn't detailed out too, too much, but still cool. And then look at this chopper. There's nothing like the Cherry Bomb Chopper. I'm telling you, so cool. Look at that trailer, cool hitch. Tijuana Taxi, or Tarantula, sorry, Goofy Goober. Long week, <laughs> and it's only Thursday. Here's the Red Baron, nice. Here's a garbage truck. So sweet. Now on this one, this one is really cool. Oh, look at this. The Tijuana Taxi came with this little sign, but there's nothing on it. So we could write something on that sign, like Johnny Roman Supper Club or something. But this opens up, and that's where the band members would play. Look at that thing. Is that cool or what? Got swim fins and helmets on it. Got that face on the back, the same as as this one. Oh, same graphics, everything. Now I do believe oh, it is white on the box. This one was painted orange. Look at that. Model building is so much fun. So wild. Oh. 
These are all your original colors. Here's the beer wagon. Hopefully I won't be busting any one of these. Return it busted. That would be terrible. Look at this. Oh. There's a model kit from back in the day. And here is the Johnny Lightning right in front. Oh. Look at how cool that is. Got an orange engine in there. Oh, those so typical tires that were on every single model of the day. Oh, man. I'm dying to build a model now. We, we might have to break open one of these kits and build one. Here's our last model kit we got, the bad news. We don't have a box for it, but that's okay. Look at this, that's pretty honking big car there. Kind of nice, here's our Johnny Lightning that goes along with it. Oh. Man, is that neat. And here's those little French uh, antennas I was talking about. They even got the little nubs on this one. Look how cool that is. Oh, this is neat. They got some nitrous in the back. Spare tire or something in there. Oh, look at this. These could be detailed out or built simple as is. Oh, any way you look at it. Tom Daniel designs were just so cool. Now these are plastic model kits. You build and put the piece together. Oh, we got a race. We got a race. Oh, I'll tell you the bad medicine against the tarantula. And it's my first race. Oh, let me get going here. <laughs> This is amazing. I'm so excited. Oh, the first Jerry Lightning Tom Daniel cars down the track. Oh, look at that off there. And these are so cool. I gotta do them again. Oh, to have these cars as Johnny Lightnings, man. That is amazing. Okay, here we go. Ready? <laughs> oh, we'll get a top view. Oh, he crashes! Oh, the oh, he crashes! Oh, the tarantula bites it! We gotta do that again. Hopefully not crash this time. Oh, sometimes you're filming and you can't see what happened in this one. Man, he went spinning off the, the track. Oh, that is amazing. Let's see if we can get this again. Ready, go! Oh, oh, oh. This... Something is happening on the hold up here. Let's see if we could get it on camera here. Oh, that one worked! Maybe I'm just pressing too hard or something. Oh, let's switch lanes. What do you think? Okay, try an even steady flow of pushing down or something. I don't know. This one popped. There's something on this track that pops. Let's try it again. See that? Oh, what's happening? How can we get this videotape so we can see what's going on? Right here. Right here. That is nuts. 
Again and again and again! Oh, there we go! But down here, do you see that? He's like flying up over the edge. Oh, that's a wild one, I'm telling you, that bad medicine. Tarantula won this one. Oh, that's garbage truck. So cool. Let's see. Against the beer wagon. That's nice, off the edge, totally. Let's see here. Ready, set, go! Nice! Yep, Johnny Lightning rolls like thunder! Oh, the beer wagon and garbage truck again! Oh! <laughs> beer wagon! Comes off the track! There's something I'm pressing wrong or something. Oh, a little hesitation there. Oh. I'm so excited, I'm jittery, I can't even focus straight. Let's do this Tijuana taxi. Against the dragon wagon. Yeah! <laughs> oh, hopefully we can do this. The starter ride. Oh! <laughs> Look at that! The Tijuana Taxi's gonna take out the real one. Oh! I hope I don't damage these model kits. Someone's gonna be awfully upset having to fix them. Oh, again, it's a spin off. Kinda cool. <laughs> I don't know what it is. If the wheels and tires. Maybe the Johnny Lightning tracks are a little deeper than these. Oh. Let's see what's going on here. Let's do this troublemaker. We gotta get it back down. Oh, that is good. Let's see what happens. Oh! The troublemaker! He! And trouble! Oh, oh! Let's see this again. Yes! He's hitting something and rolling like thunder! Oh boy, oh boy. I'm a little jittery jittery on all this. I gotta hook up to a wire here. Yeah? Camera's going dead. Troublemaker in the background. And then Johnny Lightning in the foreground. Ready? Go! Oh, it worked this time! <laughs> oh, let's race it against this cherry bomb. Wouldn't it be cool if they had the motorcycle? Now the 143rd scale did have the motorcycle. Oh! <laughs> Both crashed. Oh! Adam! My man! What a present you gave me! So cool! Oh, I gotta race another one. Ready? Go! Oh! oh. <laughs> Why is it guys love it 
when the cars crash. Sorry, Tom! We don't mean to crash these things, but man, look at this. How cool are these? The first couple crashes, no chips, but after about 50 of these crashes, oh man, we gotta look out. Oh. What haven't we raced yet? The bad medicine? Or the bad man? What else? Did we race everything? Oh, I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. I'm so excited. Oh! Oh! Dropping the good news! Oh, it's the bad news! <laughs> I'm going nuts, guys! I'm going nuts. Ready? Set? Go! Oh, that one worked pretty good. Let's do those guys again and switch lanes. Oh, come on, these are so cool. Oh, the bad man almost came up off the rail there. Did you see that? These guys, Johnny Lightning, they're going, I'm eating up this Hot Wheel track like it's no tomorrow. Here's the big bad news. It became the bad actor and the street fighter. Oh, if I only had that box. Ramos Rod, that's another one. I don't think they released that, but Tom Daniels had some lapel pins of that one for a while. Look how cool that is. This 55. Reminds me of the AFX car that we had back in the day. Look at these. I gotta raise these. I gotta raise these more. How about that one against the, the bad medicine? Oh! The bad medicine slaughter run! Twisted! Butter run, twist and turn it. I hope I got that <laughs> film. That would be kind of fun. Oh. I'm telling you, racing Hot Wheels kids is a ride. Oh, jumping the track. Do that one again. Switch them up. Oh. around that is wild let's do the garbage truck against the tarantula get these going I wanted to keep the camera on this, but we'll go after the winner, too! Oh, silly me. Stay on the crash. <laughs> we can talk to the winner later. Oh, damn! Oh, Look at that wheel under wheel. Man, oh man, these are the coolest things around. Oh. And I don't even know if it started snowing. If we get snowed in tonight, guess what? We got cars and we got track. We got model kits. We got enough to keep us busy for a long time. Oh! <laughs> this one is, he is crazy. Oh, sometimes we like that. Oh, this is amazing. 
Dragon Wagon, favorite as a kid. Oh, that seat got jack a whack a lack attack. But that's okay. Dragon Wagon against the Troublemaker. That was pretty close, but the Dragon Wagon pinched him out. Right at the end. Oh. I gotta look at some of these model kits too. I'll be here for hours. Nice. Should we look at some of these models? What do you think? I do. I like it. I think it's a good idea. Let me switch to a tripod. We'll rearrange a little bit. And we'll start taking a look at some of these. Oh, such a cool thing to do, Adam, to send me that. It just totally stoked my day. Look at all these kits here. Model boxes from yesteryear. And now we got the Johnny Lightning cars to match up. Oh, these are so amazing cool and here is the motorcycle and the whole setup all in one shebang look at that and I didn't even take a picture of this sick as a whole before I opened it oh, I was so excited to get it I'm nuts thank you man thank you I'll be right back So I think I'm going to just start at one side and look at all these boxes slowly as I go across. Sound good? We'll start with this tarantula. Oh man. I might have to back up a little bit. These are amazingly big. They're 124 scale. See that? Oh. Look at that parachute on there. Uh, I'm guessing Tom Daniel would do the design for the logo as well. Sometimes these kits were re-released. Wild digger. With drag shoot. Oh, big four panel blossom shoot included in the kit. Build the tarantula with shoot open or mount the shoot pack. Stand it on its rear wheels like it's coming off the line in a wild wheelie. Ah, oh, Morton Grove, Illinois. Made and printed in the USA. Oh, look at this. That is kind of a sweet kit. Now here's all the features on it. They'd always have pictures on it so us little booger, booger Myers could look and see what we got going here. Ah, oh, I'd be looking at these things forever. Here's all the interesting side stuff. Show and go chop coop. Now let's open this up. Now these kits, I have no idea what's in these, if it's an actual kit or not. <laughs> Look at, here's the directions. Oh, this baby is mint in the box. Look at that chrome tree, you got all the the tie rods, the blowers, the headlights on this one. Oh, and look at that spider webs on there. Oh, oh, oh. And here is the big, huge parachute. Oh, nice body on there. Comes in a couple sections. Oh, look at that big tarantula. Nice. Now you gotta be careful kids. See the glass? If the glass touches the rubber tires, it's gonna melt it. I don't know what it is about these tires, but it melts it on. Here's the decals. Look at that Hearst Goodyear Champion. National Hot Rod Association. 
terrain to us by the web copyright 1998 this is a re-release it's okay as long as you got the plastic that's all you need my friend that's all you need now I'm gonna put the instructions down in there first and then the green trees and all that in the package in the bag all sealed in the bag then the two chrome plates and then the clear on top that way the clear hopefully doesn't get scratched or damaged look at this here's the Johnny Lightning nice here's the 124th model kit that you could build oh. now these came molded in colors but man if you paint that up a little bit look at this drawing just amazing yeah look at that see that Daniel 1968 that's when he drew this original artwork I'm telling you that guy is graphic designer crazy cool creator of the wildest cars around oh boy look at this picture come on how cool is that we all wanted that as a kid let me grab another one here i'm gonna have to move some boxes slightly oh. troublemaker now this one to me Tom Daniel design let me tell you killer cool Chevy El Camino funny car 124 scale monogram oh, look at that now this one has actual pictures of the car totally rocking it now some of these boxes do not have UPC codes on them they're old nothing like some vintage artwork now I wonder what's in this one look at that mid-engine pipes popping out the back there it's just so amazing let's see what we got oh, 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 oh. Troublemaker stickers, look at that win stickers, Krager, Val, Champion. Oh, do you remember that? Remember getting win stickers? Now they usually had purple on them. <laughs> when I go to the park store, ride my Schwinn bike over there. Oh, looking for stickers all day long. Here's the chrome tree. Again, some of these kits can get really detailed. Man, it is well worth any time you spend putting it together. Don't smash them. Don't get mad. Angry. Take your time. If you got a hot head, back off. Just back off. Back away. <laughs> Let me tell you. Speaking from experience here. Oh, here's the glass. <laughs> Fumbly fingers. So cute. Oh, doesn't it make you want to get out the tester's glue and just start gluing this baby up? Get some tester paint. Look at all those details. I'm telling you, it is, oh, 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 it is exactly like this. It's hinged. You've got the, the support to hold it up. Rear engine, mid engine popping through that body just like that. This car, oh, 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 there's the wheels, remember these, oh man, just solid wheels, one piece, snap them in, had that little crisscross pattern on there, remember that, oh, 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 oh. here's the slick two pieces, good year on the slicks, Always trying to figure out how to glue them together so they stay together. They're special glue for kids. Oh, and here's the instructions. And these get pretty detailed, let me tell you. A lot of fun. Oh, I'd have to back the camera way out to get these decals in here. Or details. There's a picture of old Tom himself. 
Oh, back in the day. Oh, before you begin. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's time to build models, I think. Now, you gotta make sure you get all the pieces and parts back in there so you don't miss anything when you finally do build the model. Oh, you gotta scrape the chrome plating wherever you glue it, remember that? Oh, yeah, I know some of you guys are still building. Just like any car collector model guy, yep, you got a thousand kits and you plan to build every one of them. Oh, me too. <laughs> oh, there's the chutes that are closed where the tarantula had them open. Oh. Here's the garbage truck. Look at this thing. With the singers in the back. <laughs> it's amazing. Do we got a signature on this? Chop, chop, burp. <laughs> It's mod, it's mad, it's the most 124 scale. Look at that, the model kit is behind the hood that's open. That is cool. You can barely read it, but you know exactly what it says. 124 scale monogram. Here's all the wildest stuff about it. You can read all that. Don't see a date on this. I'm sure Tom Daniels did all that. Oh man, I'm telling you, that guy is graphic designer extraordinaire. Oh, look what we got in here. We got a partially built one. Oh, look. A little busted up, a little whack of jacket down there. But you know what? Any plastic guy, classic wheeler can take that and fix her up just perfect as can be oh. sometimes I go to a show and just pick up pieces and parts in hopes that I can get the whole kit eventually here's the chassis <laughs> oh, come on let's build let's build oh, here's the people oh yes there they are! Look at that mod chick in there. Singing away in a mini skirt. Cool dudes in his bell bottoms. Little floods, got big heels on. Playing guitar with long hair. Oh, that is great. I got a set of people that we can put into the, the built one. Like I said, people that have models and build models, oh, they collect them. <laughs> and they hold on thinking, man, I'm going to build these all someday. <laughs> Better start building quick because you never know. Someday they never come. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm just trying to get this all back in the way it was. And again, some of these kits are vintage boxes, which are cool to me. Oh, yeah, look at that. And then we got this one over here. It's already built. Hopefully I won't be busting these. I have to return these all busted up. Now this one's painted orange, kind of cool. But the original is white. And on the box, white. Now on the box, they've, they've got black and red boards, orange cab. Like this. So this one was built just totally orange. What do you think? Support your local dump. <laughs> the dirty few. Oh man, what does that say on there? I can't read that. You guys can read it. Okay. Okay. Something tonnage. Did you want a tonnage? <laughs> I like it. Nice little horns on there, air horns on the top. 
cool seats. Oh, I gotta return this one in mint condition. You know what I mean. Look at the bottom on that. Oh, all the frame painted up. This is sweet. There's nothing like Tom Daniels designs. I'm telling you, there's some models out, modelers out there that literally they just blow you away. They just are so talented. Oh, there's a guy Tim Fink way down in Florida. Fantastic. There's a guy in Indiana. Just amazing. Look at this. So cool. So cool. Oh, these cars are just like. I'm so excited, I just don't know where to put them. They're just so cool. Tom Daniel designs everywhere. Oh, and if you saw all 81 of his kits, you would just be amazed how many cars he designed. Just totally, totally cool beans, if you know what I mean. Okay, the Dragon Wagon. Oh. This one's a heavy box. This is an original box back from the day. Here's the signature. But no date. Daniel, he did all this. Is that nice art or what? He and his son are doing t-shirt designs and let me tell you, those t-shirt designs are killer. It's a fire breather, 124 scale. Oh, designed by Dom Daniel to haul his dragon around. Oh, Cobo. Mill on that. Oh, look at that. I'm telling you, a monogram made and printed in the US of A. And the dragon was the coolest thing. Look at that. Bent bars for him trying to get out. They're telling you exactly how cool this kid is on here. And again, there is no UPC code on this. This is a vintage kit. Now let's see what's in it. Who knows? This is before the re-release, because the re-release was called the Circus Wagon. Oh, here it is, Dragon Wagon. And if you look really close at the hood ornament, it's a little monkey. And that is always missing. If you're looking for kits, oh look, they started, they started peeling stuff out. Something dropped, I gotta pick it up. It was the round windshield, see that? Like a Colonel Kling special. <laughs> oh, so they started painting this off and checking off all the stuff they painted. They're checking off all the pieces and parts they did, which is a good thing to do so you know exactly where you're at. And let's open this up and see if we can figure out what is happening here. Oh, here we go. Copyright 1969. This is when your red lines were just coming out. So cool. There it is. Number 21. See that little monkey? chrome plated and hard to find if you are picking up pieces and parts. Ah, oh, there's your dragon. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, this one was built and busted apart, but that's okay because as long as you have the parts, you can put it back together. Here's the dragon. Ah, oh, how cool is that? That is so funny. Got some teeth on it. <laughs> oh, that was the coolest thing. <laughs> Got fumbly fingers today. 
Here's the wagon. Looks like I've got a full cage here. Here's the base. Oh, there's little pieces and parts all through this. Looking for the monkey. Looking for the monkey. Hopefully he's in the bag somewhere. You see him anywhere? There's a lot of pieces. Now some of these pieces were interchangeable. They would just use the same parts and pieces. Oh look. Oh! Oh! Look what I found! The monkey! Number 21. Look at how detailed that is. He's all in one piece. Oh, that is nice. The paint on this got a little jacket whack on there. But again, you can always fix any plastic if you have patience and time. And look at this. Here's two bases. Here's that seat piece that fell out of ours. But again, that's an easy fix. Oh. <laughs> and let me tell you, oh, there, is, there is something about models that I just love. Look at that. This thing is yellowed with age, and it even even a slight bend to it. Oh, the poor glass. Now when you have these kits, you gotta be careful because all these little pieces in the bottom here, they get caught in corners and cracks of the boxes and you gotta check every little nook and cranny to make sure you're not missing anything. See if there's any more monkeys in here. Uh -huh. Oh, here's something. Here's a piece of glass for the windshield that's busted in half. Oh. Barrel. From the beer wagon. You never know what you're gonna find. Oh, so cool to have a dragon wagon, original issue, even if it's in pieces and parts. It's amazing. Nothing like Tom Daniel. There he is, right there. <laughs> so funny. Oh. The glass I put inside the instruction sheet. That's, that's why it fell out on the floor. I usually try and protect the glass, and this one, oh man, save the monkey! <laughs> That's the dragon wagon. That's how most people refer to. This was one of the three sought-after kits, and then finally we released it. There was all sorts of questions on the molds. What happened to the molds? What happened to that? And here it is. Johnny Lightning, Plain Mantis. That dragon busting through the bars. I'm telling you, when, when you're building the kit and you're seeing all those bars all bent up, that dragon coming out, so cool. Here's a bad medicine. Oh, don't drop it on anything. Now this is a re-release. New one with those weird boxes that hinged up. Tom Daniels signing on them. Always good. Oh, the drag strip. So amazing. Contains one plastic model kit. Skill level two. It's a knockout. And here you go. Here is all your information. So you can read that on your own. Stop and pause. Oh, man, I gotta get looking at this. Here is all your cool stuff. Checklist. 
just amazing. Oh, remember the skeleton and the cow head? Oh. On the car, they, they hit everything on it. Oh, they don't have the... Oh, here's the skull head, but it doesn't have the horns on it. Probably too delicate. Oh, let's open and see what's in here. Who knows? You never know what's going to be in these... Oh, 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 look how beautiful that is. Oh, still on the tree. However, I'm looking beyond and we've got one built in here. Oh, <laughs> the skeleton is jumping out of there. Oh, that paint job on that one. But again, there are tricks in the tray to strip off the paint where you can start all over. Look how cool that looks. That is just amazing. Here's the engine all built up. It drops right into place here. Oh, don't you love building models? Just amazing. But here, in this box, look, you've got two kits in there. Here's the horns on the bull. Oh, skeleton. There's three full kits in this box. Nuts. I'm telling you, this is nuts. How cool is that? Open up a box, think you're getting one, and there's three in there. This is a careful packing to get that all in there so nothing gets busted. Oh, just gentle, my friend, gentle. We're gonna build all these models someday. Oh, oh. I don't know when. I don't know when. This is a bad medicine, and look at all these other ones over here we still gotta go through. Oh, boy. Bad medicine. Bad medicine, we just saw that one. Here's the bad man. Everything's bad. Uh, what about the good medicine? <laughs> oh, the good man. Look at that. Just Tom Daniels. He knew how to just prank it so cool. Look at that STP sticker on the front. These details and all these. I'm sure these are all his friends in there. 55 Chevy. Dragster. Oh, look at this. Just so neat. All this information. Chevy on there. Here's the end of the box in the back with all the features. Got wheelie bars and hood scoops. Look at that exhaust. Let's get into this box and see what's in here. Oh, 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 oh pristine in the box. Look how sweet that is. Now sometimes the decals go bad. There's there's things that you can get to help hold them together. But look at this. Yeah, beautiful. 55 all the way. You got all the pieces and parts in there. Just amazing. Oh, I love diecast. <laughs> I love model cars. I love I love the Roco mini tanks. I love slot cars. Oh, train sets. If it's scale, it's got wheels, treads. I'm digging it. Look at this cherry bomb. Oh, now we got the model over there. We've seen it. This is a Wee Pop. I don't know if I have an original box somewhere. Sometimes I collect boxes and find them. You find them at a store or something, I'll pick them up. Or a flea market just because it's cool to have an old box. Oh, there's all your information on it, kind of nice and sweet. Just look at the profile of that and that bike on there. Oh man, Goodyear. I always love Goodyear tires. Look at this, 9095. Copyright originally 1970 and 73. 
So that's when it was released. Oh. <laughs> Usually nothing on the bottom. I never showed you the bottoms. But that's the cherry bomb. Now, the 143rd scale, they had the motorcycle with them, but this one doesn't. That's okay. Look how cool that is. It's got everything else. That is sweet. And these are good rollers, let me tell you. Oh, and look at this, Rommel's rod now. Again, the atrocities were crazy, but man, there's nothing like a cool half track. There's Tom Daniel himself back in the day. And he really didn't soup this up. See that little head figure? That is the gold piece on this one. But a lot of military guys would get this and then just soup it up. Now, if you go to Tom Daniel's site, there's, there's someone that posted some pictures of one that was found on eBay. It was shown at the Show Rod Rally. Dave Show Rod Rally. And that... They built this out like you wouldn't believe. It is just amazing. 1969 and 74. And again, this wasn't released for all those years. This was one of those killer kits that cost a billion dollars to find. Oh, 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 oh it's all here. Oh, there's a mama head in there. But look at this, as a half track, how cool is a half track? So neat. Skeletons on there, now they, there's people that literally will find all the suits and information on that and actually build it so all the suits and the medals match whoever this guy was, Rommel. Oh, it is just amazing. Oh, let's see what else we got over here. The Tijuana Taxi. Oh, oh. Now they didn't do Rommel's Rod because the swastikas on there and you can kind of understand that. But, oh, look at this. <laughs> Tijuana Taxi, you got some chickens on the top. See that? That's so funny. This one is just kind of a, just really sweet. And look, <laughs> look at this. Here it is, Daniel. He drew this thing. We got the dog jumping out of the way as he's rumbling down the road. You got the guy in the back sleeping <laughs> and his hat coming off the back. Pig on the back and chickens in the coop. And fly in the coop. Got a guy driving along and horns. Oh, he always just knew what to put on the cars to make us kids want to buy them. He's just amazing. Oh, look at all that talking. Yeah, you can go in there and read all that. You can pause it and read it all. But man, I want to see what's in this box. It's been a while since I've seen this box, some of these things I borrowed, some of mine. Ole! Haha, <laughs> 124 scale. Oh, there's all the pieces that are special to this kit. Oh, look at that gas pedal. Remember those? <laughs> oh, so much fun. And yeah, you could kind of customize it all yourself. All these things. They had so many. Oh, treasure chest trunk. I forgot about that. Suits on the side. Remember those? Oh. Uh, this box has a little water damage. Oh, I see some orange trees on there. Some decals. Oh, look at this. The chicken. Ah, <laughs> oh, you got another chicken. And there's the bullhorns. Started painting on this. Oh, look at that bad. Look at the detail on that. Someone's painting this up nice. Look at me. 
Here's the decals in the glass. Someone's protecting the glass from scratching. Here's all the little pieces and parts, rare pieces and parts. Fragile. Oh, look at this! He got two partials in here. Oh, one built up glue bomb. Again, all these things can be fixed. And then the fragile pieces in the bags. Ah, oh, this is so much fun. Doesn't that make you want to build a kit? Oh, look at the look at the paint on those handles and hinges. That's a pro that started painting that. Wonder if it was me. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, here's the chicken. <laughs> Here's a chicken in his coop, but the coop is busted apart. Oh, look at the glue on that. Kids use very little glue. Oh, but again, you can salvage parts, you can polish glass, put in new glass, fix and patch. Oh, you always don't get glue on the windshield. Look at that, there's glue on every side of that. That is amazing. Oh, but still, look at that. We've got all the pieces and parts. We've got some of the killer parts that are, that are usually missing. This is one sweet set. Two in the same box. That is amazing. Got the Red Baron. Again, Tom Daniels came up with this design for a car and he had hit like crazy. You had Snoopy and the Red Baron going out, having battles and stuff. There was a song about Snoopy and the Red Baron. There's, there's his signature, Daniel. Look at that. He drew or painted all this back in the day before computers. This guy is a true artist. Look at all this. Sick banger on there. From 1914. Red Baron Iron Cross decals. And you get a miniature airplane included. And a giant chrome surfer helmet top. I'll tell you, that surfer helmet was amazing. Let's see if there's anything in this one. It is pretty light. Oh, we got a glue bomb in there. But it looks like, oh, a double. Look at that. Pretty sweet. Again, if you take your time and your patience, you can put these things back together. But... How cool to have the original box and some glue bombs from back in the day. I'm looking for a date on this box, but I don't see one. Maybe right here? Nope. Printed in the USA. Sweet. Oh, we got the bad actor, which was the bad news which was the Street Fighter. They know we switch them around and I think talking to, to Tom one day, he said that sometimes they change a name and then wouldn't pay him royalties. Kind of stinks, but that's how it was back in the day. But he's a lot, he learned his lesson and he's a lot better now. Look at this. Instructions in all those languages. This is an original issue, but ages 10 through a go <laughs> and some of those past it go oh, here's all the cool information on it 1960 Chevy Chevy delivery sedan oh, that is nice and look at all these different languages isn't that amazing so you can read it in your own language. You can pause it and read it as you need it. I 
let me tell you this. Bad acting. <laughs> That's cool. Was totally cool. Again, some of these I've borrowed and begged and I just got to get them back, hopefully in one piece. Man, the storm. Oh, look at the glass on this. Look how huge it is. Because it's a sedan. All in the plastic. Amazing stuff. There's nothing like a model kit. Kids, turn off your video games and build a model. It is so fun and challenging and satisfying once you get all done. Just amazing. There's all your chrome trees and directions in there. This, this kit is sweet and ready to rock and roll, my friend. I'm going to put the tires underneath so they don't stick on anything. Don't melt to the glass. The glass is the hardest to polish out once you call bump the bump the dump the dump the dump the dump the Oh man, oh man. We got a couple more boxes to go. Oh, the great thing about it is here it is. Bad news. I like it in orange. There's something about an orange truck or car. It's very cool. Very cool. Here it is, the beer wagon. Oh boy. Now, some people didn't like selling beer to kids, putting beer wagon on there, but hey. It's not like they're not seeing people drink it. Don't drink it, kids. Don't get started. Save your money and buy model kits and Hot Wheels. Look at this Johnny Lightning. That is so cool. Now here it is, Tom Daniel, big as can be. This is a re-release. When his signature's big like that and his, his name's on the box. His picture's on the box. Look at this. It's so cool. That drive chain in the back and beer kegs for the gas tanks. He thought of everything. There's his signature right there. Tiny, but it's him. Tom Daniel all the way. Look at this. Just amazing. Here's all the features. This is a newer box. You can tell from the UPC. You've got multiple languages on this. Nice photograph. UPC code. Here's all your legal mumbo jumbo. Here's all your copyrights. 1995. How old were you in 95? <laughs> Different angles. Look at that. They chromed up that uh, those barrel rims. Sweet. This is nice. Here's all your different skill levels. This is a skill level two. So you can figure out what you want to do. English and French. Oh, let's see what's in here. Anything. Oh. We got pieces and parts. We got a bunch of barrels in red. Molded in red, that's weird. That's from the RC truck, I think. RC soda. Here's some of the big gears. See those big gears in there? Oh. Again, that's okay. If you got the pieces and parts, we can rebuild, right? Oh. Here is the beer wagon. Here's the build up. See if I cannot bust up everything or have things fall apart. Oh, again, the details on these things were just amazing. Oh. Now, when you're building a model, you know exactly how to pick them up, but after a while, 
You forget. Look at all that. All those beer kegs are rolling around in the back. Look at those drive chains in there. Killer exhaust. 1927 on the license plate. Got a cross at the back window. You got big, <laughs> you got the little. 124th, 164th. Nice. Oh. I'm gonna tuck it away. Here's the model box. I'm gonna try and get it back out of the way so we don't accidentally bump it, bust it, break it. We can return it. All oh, damage. Jeez. <laughs> oh. Now this box, empty where well, we had other boxes that were jam-packed full let's take a look at this street fighter see what this one is oh, again cool design look at this daniel that 99 so he's still doing this. I'm telling you, that guy, he is, he is just like a machine of ideas of coolness. And his abilities are just amazing. He paints anything and everything. He still sells stationery and pins and t-shirts. Limited edition stuff. Sometimes he gets, ah, just go to his site, TomDaniel.com. Oh, look at this. Brand new kit. All in white, so it's an easy mold. Easy paint job. You paint a base coat on there. Set up. Look at that. Back window. What is that? Side window? Oh, the sunroof. Oh, it's so neat. But it, again, this is a big, meaty kit. So much fun, and you got everything in it. Oh, kids, this is the way to play, man. Once you get done racing the cars on the track, you break out the glue and the models. Oh, this is amazing. Aaron, Adam, Adam. So nice of you to send me to me. You blew me away today. Unbelievable. Totally cool. Here is our kit that started this all. The Johnny Lightning Wacky winner. 10 of Tom Daniel's most famous model kit designs. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, uh. Thank you so much. Let's put these guys in here. This has been a toy car case extravaganza with not only Johnny Lightnings to play in Mantis, but we got Ravel and Monogram kits of all the Tom Daniel designs here, plus a few of his other ones. Oh, again, don't miss out on any little pieces and parts. The cool thing about these, they're all in the original colors that the model kits came in. And you even got the T1 and Taxi sign. Oh, just got to be careful not to lose that dragon wagon piece in there. This has been a toy car case event at Johnny Roman Supper Club. Oh, it's a long video, but oh, my favorite designer of all time, Tom Daniel. He rocked my world, still does today. Go tell him Johnny sent you. Oh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you went down memory lane like I did and enjoyed the show. We will see you on the flip-flop when we see you again. Oh, I can't wait to look at some more cool cars.
Thanks for coming, man. And Gail! Woohoo! Girls like cars too! I know you're a toy car case guy out there! It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be!